what's going on guys welcome back to the channel we are at a little local lake over here in louisiana and um we decided to get out here today and do some technical savvy things with the electronics okay something that nobody wants to have a video about they always want to talk about forward facing sonar but they don't want to talk about the angle of the transducer and all of the little interests in how do you say that intricacies Int intricacies i got you a little messed up on that you did but before i do that i want to introduce my friend craig Craig watches all of our stuff on, on YouTube, and Craig's just enjoying this nice, beautiful day. How you doing? Today? Absolutely. Beautiful day. Man, I pulled up, and Craig was like, man, I watched y'all's travel vlog video. And he's just out here soaking up the sun. Absolutely. It's, it's good this morning. It'll be good this week. Absolutely. God's good for a great day. All right, well, let's do this. So I run the Active Target 2 on the transducer, and um, I got this new mount. This is a... Uh, fish obsessed mount not sponsored by them bought it straight off the website the angle of this transducer is very important um the angle up the angle left and right like this is important and i mean you can turn this but i'd say all of it is super important but this angle left and right that you have to make sure that's that's good okay this sucker right here is so finicky like you have to get these things set right if this angle is off freaking two three degrees at 50 feet it may be off 10 10 feet i got a pitch like right here so there's my trolling motor head and i can see perfect right over here but the angle on this action target is really wide. It's not really wide, but it's like it's fairly wide. But when I make a pitch over there, my stuff reads perfect. If I pitch dead in the middle of the trolling motor, it's a little bit faded. So I got to do, I got to compensate for that. So I need to move my my whole unit, not just the head. I got to move, turn the whole thing, angle it to the right a little bit to try to compensate on it. So that's what we're going to do. You're, you're shooting your bow, okay? At 20 yards, you're three inches low. Oh, that's fine, 20 yards ain't no big deal. At 61 yards, you're a foot and a half low. It's the same trajectory. I gotta make sure this is dialed in at 40 feet, that way at 80 feet, it's exact. Right now, I'm not dialed in. I'm not hitting on sh <laughs> Why are you laughing? You you are on the freaking camera. I'm hitting on like three cylinders right now. Okay, that's all I'm hitting on. All the rest are just I need some new plugs. Three cylinder on a V8. On a V8. <laughs> I'm not hitting on nothing. We're gonna dump this boat in this chocolate milk water and try to get this dialed in. Y'all join us. All right, so we just got out here. I, I moved it a little bit to the left, or to the right. There's a fish swimming right there. Let's see. So it seemed like it fixed it a little bit, but I'm still not convinced we got it exactly right yet. Um, feel like I gotta fix it just a little bit. shifted a little bit. That fish is out here just in the middle of nowhere. Oh my gosh, 
I sincerely smell him for me, not for y'all. I smell him for me. I would do that even if we wasn't filming right now. I just like the smell of them. I may need to shift. I don't know. I got it. Not as bright as what it was. So I'm going to move the head of it back just a little bit. I'm, I'm missing something. I'm gonna move it a tent that way. All right, I got it back in just a little bit. I mean, I just moved it just a little bit. So we tinkered with it a little bit. A sure way, um, I hadn't found any kind of timber. I, I ain't got no docks around me, but there's a there's a stump under the water. I can see it. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Brett, can you see that stump right there? Mm. See it right underneath the water? No. Like right now, right there. See that stump? Uh, a little bit. The camera can see a little bitty dot right. There's right a stump, there. I can see it, under the water right there. Right there. I just landed on yep. it. Yep. Yep, you can see it now. All right. If you pan right over there to it, see it on the graph? 40 foot. That's it. Okay. All right, look at the head of your trolling motor and make sure that it's dead facing straight toward it. So up here, we're looking at this. And we're looking at my graph, and then I'm on, you know, I'll make a pitch. Now I'll tell you this. The reason I say that, I know that seems elementary. It's, it's super elementary. It's like, oh, just point over toward the dock. There, there's Bald Eagle right there. You gonna get him? Let's get him. I can't, I don't have a big zoom lens on there. Oh, yeah, y'all heard that. He's talking to us. So, anyway. Pan yourself over there, it seems really elementary, but I'll tell you this. It's almost like side scan. You can see a fish, if you barely miss them, they're really faded. So if you're pitching straight out there and your bait ain't really glowing, you're not dead on. Like you're pitching in front of your trolling motor, but you're not dead where it needs to be. So it may be cocked to the left. So if you pitch to the left a little more, you're dead on, you see your bait, and you're dead on the fish. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like, you gotta get your pitch down. All right, now you can set stump good. I know you can pan over there and see it now. See that stump? Can we see it? Right there. See it? Yes, I see it on camera. Uh -huh. right. When I get right there on the stump, I am dead on it and that's the hottest point. I'm gonna pitch beside the stump See my bait go down. It looks phenomenal. Okay. We've got it dialed in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tighten it down now. I'm gonna winch it down and make sure that it's good to go. That way it don't get knocked off or anything like that. Down. Start, but go from side to side, at least on this mount. That way you're not torquing it. Just like this. I'm leaving that for good now. Now I'll tell you this. Um, give you a little nugget. Here's the nugget. Nugget of the century. If you're watching this video, you're gonna be very proud of this. Okay. On this setting, let me throw this down. On this trolling motor, I'm gonna go up here. Okay. I can go to Sonar, active target installation, angle offset. I got it at 1.1 degrees. I don't know why I got it at 1.1, but it's reading really good there. So if this up here is black in this area up here, tilt your transducer up. Okay, that you want it straight where it reads all that. 
if it, it and this line needs to be at a decent angle it can't be it don't need to be straight down the black line it don't need to be straight down and it don't need to be way back if it's way back you're gonna have a black area up here you only have this much it, it goes out like a like a v okay if you uh, adjust your transducer angle and it's still like like if you tilt it up and down and you get your casting right and it still is not correct get in here settings sonar active target installation angle offset change the degree so you'll go minus start out with minus two mass save and you'll see the screen go boop or either down forgot if it goes up or not so it'll go up i think minus brings it up all right change that and make a pitch if it's opposite if it's too high go to plus change that make a pitch i kind of i really want to see my bait hit the water that's key because i can track my bait and know where it's going so i'm going to go out of that oh, you see that that's a crappie gotta be Come on, baby, be a soccer lake. Oh, man. We got a big old spotted bass, son. I can't end on that little guy, can I? No? I wouldn't. You wouldn't? All right. I'm going to let my little spotted bass go. I'm going to try to catch this big dummy right here, and then we're going to ride. Uh, I thought he was better. Here's another spot. Can't even on him either. They look bigger since I made the settings, but it's it's actually good because because I can see really well. I want my bait. I want to see my bait really good. All right, we made a really long pitch. It's back right now. It's back right. Heck yeah. I just want to eat. There's my head. Oh, baby. All right, boys. <laughs> we finally we got it right. We got it right, man. I gotta hide this bait. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta look it up. You gotta look up. Can, yeah. can you see this bait? We got a new bait release in Crush City. It's uh, it's really, really good. <laughs> Ow! I got the daggum. <laughs> Ow! Ow! That's what we get for hiding it. <laughs> Stabbed in the finger. All right, boys and girls, not a big one, but uh, get your graphs dialed in. I bet he smells good. Oh, he does. Thank you, buddy. Get your graphs dialed in. I'm thinking getting hot out here, my goodness. Get your graphs dialed in. Look at your transducer, pull up to a place, pitch at it. If you're not seeing your bait really that good, change the angle of it, left and right. Tinker with it just a little bit. Like it's worth spending an hour just getting it exactly dialed in. Like I said, one or two or three degrees off is gonna get your pitches off, then you'll be forced to pitch to your left. And I'll tell you one more tip. So when I make a pitch, I pitch left-handed. All right, my bait tends to go that way. Just adjust it to your style of how you pitch. If you cast overhand, straighten the line, you're fine. So just tinker with it, get it, get a dock pole or a buoy or something, pan your trolling motor, make sure it's lined up exactly dial your graphs in use your settings on your graph they can be a big big help catch more fish like subscribe do us a favor subscribe we, we were trying to hit 100,000 this year we're trying to make it the best so again thanks again appreciate appreciate y'all tuning in oh man. i wasn't recording any of that dang i'm just kidding i'm just kidding just kidding finish him i love doing that to you i don't know how to, i don't really want to leave y'all i don't want to leave y'all i kind of want y'all to hang around get your graphs dialed in i felt like this was a video nobody did i know it seems elementary but y'all know exactly what i'm talking about you can't really get you you pitching and your casting is the most important and make sure it's in line
Thanks again. We'll see you. Peace.